Hi there, this is Jeff from DCHoneybees.com. Um, the last time I uh, made a video about bee food, we were talking about bee fondant, and those fondant containers are up on the highs, up, up on the roof, and we look forward to seeing in a week or so if the bees have taken to it at all. I also mentioned that I was going to try something else on two other hives I have, um, the just the plain table sugar version of winter feeding. And so what I've done is, or what I'm doing here today is, um, infusing some sugar with some lemon essence as a way of drawing bees up to the food source. So take a look and see what you think. I'm starting by zesting this lemon and I'm using this microplane here but I don't think you need to use one of these. You don't need to be too exact with it but the idea is to get the topmost layer of lemon where the essential oils of the peel are located and where it's not so wet that it will cause the sugar to clump up when you put it in the blender to mix. And it's also a very strong and long lasting scent so it won't evaporate like orange or like the juice of the lemon may. And I'm doing one whole lemon here just because and I've got 10 pounds of sugar into which I will introduce the lemon scented sugar. Well I've zested that lemon as you can see here that's about the zest of one large lemon and remember the reason we're using lemon is we're trying to give the bees a scent to hone in on, hone in on home in on so that they know that there's a food source nearby which will be the granulated sugar with this essence mixed in and if you could smell it right now you'd know they'll be able to smell it because it's very strong to this blender I'm going to add just some a little bit of sugar call it about a cup and we're going to grind this down in with the lemon essence need to make sure that the lemon zest is well incorporated into this sugar so it's not chunky. We're going to take our trusty pot, it's about a two gallon pot, put half our sugar in, add our blended mix of sugar and lemon peel. Sometimes it gets a little sticky on the bottom, that's okay. Just knock it out. The idea here is to make sure all the essential oils are evenly distributed throughout the sugar so that the bees can smell it and are drawn to it. Okay, I'm stirring the first batch or the first bag of sugar in with our blended sugar. Get it started, get that distributed, and then we'll just add our second batch, another five pound bag. And you can see why I'm using the big pot. It's one of the few things that will hold all this. and continue to fold that in again to incorporate all that lemon zest and smell. Oh, I thought there was foam. Is that salt? No. Why don't you taste it? It's sugar. I'll taste it. Yes. With lime. I mean lemon, I mean. Right. Why don't you smell it? Mm, it smells kind of weird. Sweet. 
And that really, uh, that should just about do it. Uh, we'll place that sugar on top of newspaper that sits across the top of the, or the uppermost uh, top bars in the hive. We will um, put in a shim. In this case, we have shims for the hives that will allow us to put a five pound measure of sugar on top and then put the tops back on. With the smell of the sugar, uh, the lemony smell of the sugar, the bees should sense it's there and eat through the newspaper and uh, have uh, access to it when they need it for, uh, for their food stores if they run low in, in this very cold winter, which right now it's blowing about uh, 20 miles an hour outside and it is very chilly, so I'm thinking about the bees and praying that they survive. Thanks so much for supporting our website, www.dchoneybees.com and our mission to get more bees on more rooftops in Washington, D.C.